I think this is all we need. Off to the hive. You've likely heard it a time or two before. Ooh. To be as busy as a bee. Not that they can't sting me through this, but... But surprisingly, many don't realize just how busy honeybees are. They are foraging from sunup to sundown. They're going back making hundreds of trips every day, all day, until they die. Working the entirety of their lifespan to provide for their hive. You can hear them. But also support humans without even knowing. I know, how to know. They're the only insect that I know of that can actually help heal us. You like to see a nice big queen. Carmen Wayland is a beekeeper in Eagle, Colorado. It's my new found love at 50. Um, I've been doing this for about six years, five, six years. She loves to educate people on things they likely don't know about bees and honey. This is a boy. They don't, they don't have any stingers. Because even beekeepers are constantly learning new things. The more I read, felt like the less I, I knew. Um, but it's probably the biggest rabbit hole I've ever dove into. Bees have become a backbone to our environment. Experts point out how crucial they are to biodiversity in and of themselves. But now with their continued population decline, they are finding how quickly disastrous effects on plants can happen. They've become an important part of our ecosystem. Uh, they are a keystone species. So there's a lot of animals and us that rely on them to pollinate food so we in turn can eat everything that we've gotten used to eating. That's just the beginning. Their honey is more than just a tasty condiment. So a lot of work going, goes into making honey. So when you get that little jar at the store, that's hundreds of bees making that jar. So that's why I never like to waste even a drop. These girls work hard. These girls are doing good. <laughs> yes, I'm allergic to honey. I'm getting better. I'm able to eat it more because I do a little bit every day. Her allergy has never gotten in the way of seeing the benefits. Ooh. Studies suggest it can even help with depression and anxiety. It's been proven for your skin, for helping heal, for hydrating. From the hive to the shelf, the honey you purchase from a beekeeper is far different than what most people purchase in the store. Honey is the top three foods that's adulterated. A lot of times it's coming mixed with rice syrup and it's really hard to detect. Pretty much just eating sugar. There's no enzymes, there's no minerals, there's no vitamins left. It may be more expensive, but she says it's well worth it. We do have some Tupelo that we brought in from Florida from a gentleman who floats his barge out in alligator infested waters to get his honey. Made to never spoil. And people don't realize that either. It's one of the only products made by an animal insect that never spoils. Eaten or applied. You know, most know that there's some benefits, but when you tell them there's a ton of vitamins and enzymes and they just don't realize that there's that much in it. Protecting bees means protecting the benefits they bring to our society. In Eagle, Colorado, I'm Jesse Cohen reporting.